George, thank you. And, of course, Gilbert Gottfried is here, who does a bit of singing himself. Well, I get up every morning with a heart on because I'm horny. Grab my Vandalina and then get dizzy. Then I hear a voice I love. I grab my cock and start to rub. And think I'm Robin with those big brown titties. <laughs> You say clitoris, not clitoris? Uh, I, it worked better for the song. I see. Yes. yes. You're a pro. Yes. <laughs> you really are. I always said that about you. You know, I was just thinking of you. You're married now, right? I guess, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it always has to... <laughs> you know, you could be having a wonderful time, and then you bring up that marriage, and it's like... I know, he was in a good mood. <laughs> yes, I know. For you about sometimes three walk, seconds. Do you ever walk around during the day and forget that you're married? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you yes. Like, they completely push it out of your mind. Yeah. Like, you're not, like, that in love, where you walk around going, oh, I'm so lucky I'm married. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I was thinking of you, you know, Bubba the Love Sponge, who does a show here, he got married. And his new wife, in order to keep things hot and sexy, says uh, they went out to dinner the other night. Bub is driving. Suddenly she takes off all her clothes and takes a nine-inch dildo and starts jacking off with it and spreads her legs and puts her feet up in high heels on the dashboard. And I'm wondering if your wife ever does that for you to keep you interested. What is she doing to keep it fresh? What does your wife do? Yes. Now, I know you uh, take her on the subway. You can't take her in a car. So yes. Does she jack yes. Off so on it's, the a little, it's a little yeah. difficult. It disturbs the other passengers. You wouldn't pay for a cab. <laughs> yeah. Right. She props her feet up on the homeless person and takes out her nine. That's hot. <laughs> no, I mean, is the sex... Especially during rush hour. <laughs> Has the baby been born yet? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, no, we don't baby. know what you're having yet, or do we know? Uh, no. Oh. Do you want a divorce already? <laughs> yes, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, but he got married since his last visit here, correct? Yeah. Where was the wedding? <laughs> that was just like a totally small private thing. Yeah. Well, you don't know anyone. Of course it was small Yeah, exactly. Private. Who would you invite? Yeah. <laughs> I told him I would go, but he didn't invite me. Oh, no. He wouldn't have us there laughing. <laughs> <No>. Yes. <laughs> Did you wear a suit? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Did you pick out a special suit, or was this just something from your closet? Uh, no, they went, well, it's a suit I got that I uh, I don't think I ever wore before. Oh. Is it fair to say you had an accident, knocked up your girlfriend, <laughs> and now you were forced into a marriage? This was a shotgun wedding? Is that fair to say? <laughs> uh, no, no, that actually uh, came next. Yeah. <laughs> the wedding was Gilbert. I, I, I wish I had an excuse like yeah. that. Yeah. Are the you wedding miserable? was Gilbert, his wife, and the last four guys that have booked Caroline. <laughs> now, did you wear a yarmulke at your... Oh, wedding? my God, yes. <laughs> a big fancy oh, yarmulke? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> and, and, and I don't follow that stuff at all. And did the yes. rabbi sing a song? During... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Did you? So uh, that's like Jewish rap music. I was going to say, you're having a whole service. I was actually shocked that we didn't see any pictures in the tabloids of your wedding. Isn't it true you tried to sell the uh, pictures? Who has the rights to the pictures? They haven't published People, them yet. People, us? Uh, oh, yes. No, Gilbert but... got married during rush hour, so there would be helicopters flying over. <laughs> There are, but I mean, there's been no mention in the paper. Not yeah. one picture the, slipped out. Nothing. The, the Nobody funny cares. thing is, is like <laughs> my level of uh, celebrity is. I've seen pictures. Are you a celebrity? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. Right. I'm like beneath real life celebrity. Well, people know who you are. That you're a celebrity. But I've seen pictures in magazines of celebrities on these events where I go. 
I was standing right next to that guy, <laughs> right as that picture was being taken, yeah. and they, they like you out. crop it. You yeah. know? <laughs> they purposely cut you out. Yes. <laughs> but what about uh, th this wedding? So you say a, you, this took place in a temple, I guess, a Jewish temple. Uh, no, no, like in just some hotel uh, kind of. And you wore a yarmulke. Yes. And you had a hoopa <laughs> built and all that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who arranged this? Your I, wife? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah I had nothing. To Did do you with say it. vows or anything? like that uh they they were saying vows and then you just kind of like oh you did you say you know i just want to say to my wife i promise oh to, no no, no, no none, none, none of that it was like kind of that thing it's it's kind of like when the police uh do an interrogation and go so you're gonna say that you uh broke into the house uh, is that <laughs> right sir uh, uh, all right yeah i'll say that yes was it horrible i mean because i know you're embarrassed by stuff like that oh yeah, yeah yeah do you feel everyone's looking at you and going oh ugly jew and yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that's <laughs> since i was born yeah did you stand there with your eyes closed the way you do on stage <laughs> Crazy. Would you ever do a, a reality show about your marriage? I know there's a phone call. Mark wanted to know that. Did you? Did, would you ever do like? Would you allow the cameras in and let them have that glimpse That's of your life? That's a funny thing. Just recently, I've been getting calls to do a reality really? show. Really? I would yeah. watch that. Yeah. I honestly would. Yeah. yeah. You know? Gilbert, these marriages don't last after the reality show. So this then is maybe the way I to definitely get out. should yeah. do it. Yes. <laughs> did the rabbi look at you and go, "Oh, you're a horrible looking Jew"? <laughs> Did you say the rabbi became anti-Semitic after yes. marriage? <laughs> so it was terribly embarrassing. Did you have a band? Did you have that kind of thing? Oh, nothing, nothing. No like DJ. That. No, no. You did dance out to the whole. <laughs> no, up in the yeah. chairs thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It wasn't a group of guys uh, lifting, lifting me you? up in the chair. <laughs> so did you go on a honeymoon or anything like that? Uh, kind of. Where'd you go? I was already doing a, a club in San Francisco, so she came along and we extended it a few days, going someplace else. <laughs> <laughs> You're so romantic. You know, yes. like you, you uh, piggyback your work exactly. with a trip. Exactly. So romantic. Yeah. Stand in the back of the punchline while... <laughs> What did you do? You took her out to a nice dinner in, uh, in San Francisco? Yes. Yeah. Marched her out. Is she, is she very big now with the baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you had sex while she's pregnant? No, no. Nothing? Yeah. Are Not you... at all since she got pregnant? No. He doesn't want to put another one in there. <laughs> Are you excited at all about the baby coming? I mean, do you have any fantasies about that? I, I don't know. Like, like everything in my life, I try to block everything out. You don't sit and fantasize about, you know, what it would be like if it's a boy or if it's a girl. Yeah. What I, you'll do with them. Sometimes. It's I, a I girl, think right? I, I, I think, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. it is. Oh, I'll Gilbert's having it. a girl? Yeah. yeah. I think that's better for you. Yeah. A boy can't look up to you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I could be like Alec Baldwin. A girl can be fooled yeah. yeah. while. Will you yell at your kids? <laughs> like yeah. That? Yeah. yeah. You little... <laughs> So you little pig, I'll be coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you'll be a good dad? I wonder. I, I don't know. I, I can't I can't get a beat on yeah. how you're going to be. You're very removed, and you don't like people. Well, I'm just... really impressed that he says he has sort of fantasized about what it'll be like to be with the baby. Do you think you could change a diaper? Honestly, do you think you'll do uh, it? Uh, I could do that, no. yeah. Yeah, you'll do that. Yeah. yeah. You're going to hold it. You're going to rock it. You'll sing to it. <laughs> Do you read the baby story? <laughs> have you talked to your the, 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 the baby stomach? Yeah, or the you mom's stomach? No, no, no. That no. to me is insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that that's scary. Why don't you sing your half Torah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the only diaper he's changing is his own in twenty years. <laughs> Well, you know, one day your child will realize how great you are. There's no one on the planet who does a better impression of Bella Lugosi. Uh, you know, you do great impressions. He would be great yes. for the child in early years because he's very playful, right? Right. You could do Dracula for the boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Scared of shit, honey. <laughs> <laughs> And the kid would say, oh, that's the early Universal as opposed to the later Hammer version. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, good luck, man. I uh, think you're going to need it. When yeah. is the baby coming? When's it happening? Do you know the big date? Uh, I think uh, in the beginning of June. Begin oh, 
We got some time. Yes. All right, got another All month. Right, there, yes. Is there going to be an inducement, or are you looking for natural childbirth here? Oh, what? Where, you know, they, they're in a swimming pool and all that <laughs> stuff. And... Did you follow this? On, I know you're a fan of radio. You used to listen to radio a yes. lot. Do, do you still listen to radio or not that much? Not that much, no. Yeah. But uh, the Imus thing, were you shocked? I mean, he's been around Have you a been long on time. that show? I, yeah, all the time. No, <laughs> I've never been on Imus, but it's like now he, it's like I never cared about him one way or the other before. Hmm. And now I'm, I'm actually a supporter of Imus. <laughs> Once you, he, they got you on his side. Once he said nappy-headed hoes, I began. Well, you use a lot of ethnic humor. I mean, I've heard you say the N-word. And so, Me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've heard I, you say terrible things about different racial groups. I, I can't complete a sentence without saying nigger. Okay, <laughs> so, so you felt that he should not have been fired? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. You did not like it. Well, Madam Head of the Company. <laughs> what amazes me is that Sharpton and Jesse Jackson have such respectability now. Right. It's that that's amazing. Yeah, where did that come from? Well, listen. Well, to... that's a joke. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's a joke you white people are playing on black people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and did you did you have I saw in the paper like these two black police women and one Puerto Rican, it's like they're suing the city because their sergeant has a joke called them nappy headed hoes. <laughs> and so they've got a lawyer and they're suing them. Right, that's right. That's yeah. what happens. You've got to really be careful these days. <laughs> Can I speak to Gilbert, please? Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you today, Gilbert? Oh, excellent. And the reason why I'm calling today is just about the loan request. You started on our website about doing a home equity. Yes. Now, are you still shopping around for lenders? Yeah, yes. And that's the reason why I'm calling today. If you have a minute, I can complete the request for you. And uh, yes. Gilbert, if you can verify me your email address there. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, that I don't know yet. Okay, do you remember the email that you used when you went into our website? I, I don't know. So what is your last name? Can you verify me your last name? Oh, yes. And what is your last name, sir? Yes. Gilbert, what yes. is your last name? Yeah, yes. Sir? Yes. What is your last name? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sir? Yeah. You're Gilbert. Can you verify me your last name, sir? Yeah, yes. What is your last name? Yes. Sir, what is your last name? Yes. Okay, are you Gilbert? Yeah, exactly. Okay, sir, What? It, can you verify me your last name? Uh, yeah. Uh, is your wife there? Sir? No, no. Okay, <laughs> Gilbert. You're Gilbert, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Sir, verify me your last name. What is your last name? Yes. Gilbert. Uh, yes. Yes, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, what is your last name? Yes. Sir, do you want me to call you back later, or? No, no. Okay, you don't want to give me your last name? Yes. What is your last name? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Gilbert. You're a man, man. Yeah. <laughs> I always listen to that call, and I say they get very few leads to that company. She's yeah. got to hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> she really wants him. She can't lose this caller. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Bendy, you want a Bendy on it? Oh! Oh, this. Hello. Hey, Bindi! Want to swim around my stingray? Oh! Want some bullets around? <laughs> hello? Well, hello there! Who the fuck is this? Paul Winchell. <laughs> Why, this motherfucker creeping like a motherfucker. <laughs> hello? Hi, it's Georgie. How's your health been doing, Mama? <laughs> hey, did you get that paradise Andrew? I bullshit on the motherfucker. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yes. Who you want to speak to? Bendy! Who you want to speak to? 
Yes. Yes, motherfucker, yes. Who you want to speak to? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, take it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I fuck Desi on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're just being silly. Yeah, I trust you. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, sure, I trust you. I fucked your mom last night. Oh. Holy mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You're an animal. <laughs> I want to fuck your big droopy yellow tits. I'm going to fuck your tits. <laughs> no, I can't even get a hard on. You can't get on hard. No. When you got a pussy, you don't get on hard. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gay? Yes. You are gay? I have sex with the pigs. You have sex with pigs? Uh, yes. You fucking asshole. <laughs> You've made some great calls in your time. Yes. Yes. Well, you're great. And by the way, if you want to see Gilbert, he's going to be at Caroline's tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. That's Thursday night. And if you want tickets, you go to Caroline's.com and you spend an evening with this man who is considered the comic's comic. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you would have been a good Spider-Man. You could have been Peter Parker. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. like... So, now, does he have... I, I, I wasn't listening to the interview. D does he start having sex with her, like, during each movie? It seems like he was having an affair with her during the first movie. Right. Then they split up, and then the, during the second movie, they were having another affair. Yeah. Right. So what are you asking? No, so I'm just asking, it's this just whenever he makes a movie with her. Yes. He's now on her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. I don't know. Yes. What is Gilbert asking? Do you He's know? asking if he picks up with Kirsten Dunst every yes. time he makes a movie. I don't think so. For publicity. It's yeah. just a movie romance. I think they had a movie romance the first time, and then they were done. Oh, okay. That's what I think. So it's not like she's his booty no. call. Have you had, have you had famous women ever? You've done no. a few movies. <laughs> Never. I mean, you've been in movies. You must have attracted, I mean, like extras or something. Yeah, no, I yeah. have a lousy time. Yeah. No on-set sex? Yeah, no, I'm I'm like, uh, if I, if it's a movie big enough that I have a trailer, <laughs> I'm like, like watching one channel on the trailer, on those TVs. What was, in your opinion, the height of your celebrity? Was it your Hollywood Squares years? Was it your, when you the were Aladdin doing pro years? Aladdin, let's, let's Problem see. Child? Yeah. Problem <laughs> Child 3, was there a point, how to be a player. How about when you were in Saturday Night Live? I mean, was there a point that you would consider your highlight year? I mean... Well, Saturday Night Live was awful. It was a terrible experience. Oh, yeah, that was horrible. Everything turns into a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> but there was one year where That's... Gilbert became so... Popular. They even had him on shows. They had him yes. on an award show. Yeah, they had you on an award oh, show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that started and stopped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they, 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 once you did one award show, that yeah, was the Yeah, I, I was banned from the Emmys after that. <laughs> right. You were almost accepted into that world. Yes. And you fucked it up royally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what happened? I did you... a whole Pee Wee Herman. Oh, that's right. You started talking about jacking off. Yeah, I said if masturbation is a crime, I should be on death row. Right. And, and... for some reason that offended him. Yes. And yeah. they... they they, they bleeped it on the West Coast, and they were making apologies. So you're no longer considered someone who is reliable to go out on stage in a live venue and not screw up. Yeah, you, that's basically right. it. Right. Yeah. So you're unreliable. Yes. yes. Right. Okay. So Hollywood has, has... Yeah, I don't think they'd ever ask me to do anything. Like yeah. That All right. I like that. I do. <laughs> what are you, a homo? <laughs> Tommy? Yes. Hickory dickory duck! Ow! All right, say something worth listening to her. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dickwad. <laughs> you stop annoying me. Why don't you come on in here and then we'll talk? <laughs> you fucking asshole. Come on, come down here. Don't call me on the phone, you pussy. 
<laughs> what are you, a homo? Are you? Yes. You, you have the address? Come on down and fuck me, you little fucker. In your face. In your face, fuck face. Come on, come on down here, motherfucker. Come on. Come on, pussy. Hey, that's the best you can do. <laughs> Come okay. on down here and say it to my face, you motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Do it. Get down here. Hurry. <laughs> Fucking knock your next week, motherfucker. Oh, I love this. Come on. Bring it on, motherfucker. Bring it on. <laughs> Face. <laughs> Come on, bring it on. Yes. <laughs> oh, my muscles feel so much here. better you just now. Call me on the phone and be a dick. Why don't you come down here and try it, dickhead? Oh, that's right. Asshole. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> wow. You've done it all. Yes. You're afraid of no man. <laughs> well, all these people want you to come down in person and yes. fight with them. <laughs> Imagine if they saw you. It'd be wild. But uh, you do annoy people, right? That's something that... Uh, yes. You don't try to annoy them. It just yeah. happens. Well, Gilbert's going to be at Caroline's. And also, if you want, go to that excellent website. Ah. Yes. GilbertGodfrey.com. Is there anything new on there? No. No. No, it's still a DVD. Have you been in fist fights in your life? Have you ever had a fist fight? Uh, not, not anything that lasted long. Right. In school, yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. Before you dropped out, I yes. bet you had a yeah. lot of fist fights. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that happening. Yeah. The, 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 like the guys on the football team ever like throw you in a garbage bag? <laughs> or a locker or any of that stuff. Like, did any of that ever happen to you to traumatize you? He would do Arthur Godfrey and get out of it. Yes. <laughs> How are you? How are you? <laughs> oh, I hate those Jews. <laughs> he was anti-Semitic. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he was. It's, uh, <laughs> I wish Hitler would come back and finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to take a break. When we come back, I would love to have you sit in the news if you're not too busy. Oh, yes. Uh, if and, I've uh, got a chance. Yes, and uh, Steve Langford will be here. Johnny Boy Hine will be here. Does he th making up routines for his child? No. <laughs> I can answer that. Oh, boy. That's that's one thing I can't take when comics do that with their kids. Right. You'll be writing movies and children's books. I know. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's awful. When they I get... did this for my kids oh. so they could see something I do. <laughs> yeah, like you're not going to go, you know, I had a baby recently, and uh, now I want to tell you about uh, fatherhood. And, yeah, and then yeah. they start talking in the kid's voice. Right. That's always... <laughs> It's not for you. You don't yeah. think having a child will warm your heart no. and, and make you want to talk about the kid? No. Yeah. What if it's unavoidable, Gilbert, and oh. these things just start coming out of yeah. you? You know, Jay Leno wrote a, chi a children's book recently, yeah. The Flying Roast Beast. Everybody. Sandwich. Yes. Yeah. But you won't do that. Jamie Lee Curtis wrote one. No. Uh, Billy Madonna. Crystal. Oh, yeah, Madonna. Yeah. Right. Well, maybe you'll be next. <laughs> I mean, it's got to do better than the if... DVD. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried, Dirty Jokes. That's right. <laughs> On GilbertGottfried.com. Going to take a break. We'll be back with all the news, and we'll get you updated right after these words. We were wondering if one of these alternative guys could take that Mark Harris song, I'm a Gay Papa, and turn it into something very you know, Turn it cool. into something that's not gay, and I right. say it's not possible. I'm a gay papa, <laughs> behaving so luxurious, watching my kids, I'm generous as well, I'm a gay papa, I'm funny and enjoyable, sometimes I'm down. My children never know. So. so this guy took a stab at it. He's a friend of Vinny's. All right. <laughs> Still gay. I'm a gay papa. Behaving <laughs> so luxurious. Watching my kids. <laughs> gay and creepy. Well. He's trying. I'm a gay papa. I'm funny and Doesn't work for you. No. This sounds like 
he's not, not only gay, he's a child molester. <laughs> he, he sounds like, what was that song that was out? Oh, that the, was just, uh, oh yeah, yes, that you know, one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> what was the name of that guy? I Crash forget. Test Dummies. Uh, that's yeah. right. Crash Test Dummies. Yeah. That was Gilbert's favorite. <laughs> Solaris sponsors Battle of the Blobs. What's the name of their website? Solaris Weight Loss. That's right. SolarisWeightLoss.com. Very good. All right. I can see you're on, on your game today. Glad you're here. Hey, Craig, you're on the air in Orlando. Howard. Hey, now. How y'all doing? Okay. Hey, real quick, Howard. I keep hearing everybody, you know, the GM vehicles all come with XM and all that crap. Yeah. My wife has an Escalade. I went to Best Buy, $100. They have an attachment where they take the wiring out of, you know, the XM wiring out of the vehicle and replace it with the, with the Sirius so you can get Sirius through the uh, the dash, you know, the, the standard radio of, yeah. of the GM car. You're essentially buying a new brain for your XM radio and yeah, getting Sirius. Yeah, I did Sirius. that. I and did that with my GM great. car. Great. It's got to be costing us. You know, I'd love Sirius, and I, I want everything to succeed, but it's got to be costing us. People saying, oh, you can't get it in GM. Well, I'm here to tell you it works great. Yeah. It's uh, for anybody who has a GM car and, you, and, you know, it comes with XM. And you want it to look cool. You don't want to have wires and all that kind of stuff. They stick this brain in. It's a hundred dollars, and then you get serious. It uh, out, works great, man. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank that's, you. That's good information. It's good to remind people of that. Gilbert Godfrey's with us. Here's something interesting about Gilbert. They interviewed a disc jockey. They asked him, um, "Who is your most strange interview? You know, like who is most you know horrible interview?" <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried. Oh. Who said this? Wow. We physically picked him up and removed him from the studio, only to have him break back in. What is this? And Richard Simmons, who licked Erica's palm while she was reading the news on the air. Let's see, who is this guy? Who's the guy, Gar? I don't know. It's, uh, I guess it's right at the top of that page. It's his website. Somebody picked it out just handed it to me. Is it Scott Maxwell? or Do you remember a show where you got thrown out? Physically? No. You fought to get back in the studio? No, I would never fight to get back in. That doesn't right? sound get out. I wouldn't want to go in in the first place. Let's see, how come I can't figure out the name of the DJ? Let's see. Oh, Elena Hardy. Is that Scott McKenzie, Mix 105? Scott McKenzie. Doesn't sound familiar, huh? No. So he's probably bullshitting. Yeah. Who's the Mix 105? Is What city is this? Orlando. 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 Well, that, that's how small timing it is. He's bragging that he knows me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Twenty guys' careers, but Bob Levy's mad at Artie. He just posted on Stan, Stern Fan Network. <laughs> What's he mad about? He's I, mad because Artie goofed on that show he does, Miserable Men. <laughs> I didn't goof on the show. I goofed on his song parody. He goes, Artie jumped the shark with me. That fuck always has something bad to say. Then we'll say it's a joke. I can take a joke. It's him that can't watch and see. What does that mean? They can't watch and see. Hey, read that. Read what he wrote really about you. He's pissed off at you. It's always great when an illiterate guy is pissed at you and writes about it. Uh, Artie jumped the shark. The fuck always has something bad to say. Then he then will say it's a joke. I can take a joke. It's him that can't watch and see. Oh, it's him that can't. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, okay. He's There's gonna, no punctuation. Yeah. I guess he's gonna joke about me. Right. In the future. We'll see if you can take it. Okay. You could take it, right? He better not call me gay. <laughs> I'm assuming he's going to hit you hard during the Andy Dick roast. Oh, oh, oh. This could be Levy Hype. He's he's promoting the roast. Oh, maybe that's it. Uh, hello, uh, you're on the air, Kevin. Hey, Howard, what's up, dude? I was just wondering if I could play a game for tickets for the roast. Oh, the Andy Dick roast? Yeah. Gary, please. when is the Andy Dick roast? May 16th. And uh, if you want, we got uh, Artie Shuley, Sal, and Bob, of course. We have Lisa Lampanelli, Colin Quinn, Greg Fitzsimmons, and I'm waiting to hear back from one more comedian. That's going to be brutal. Yeah, sounds like a great lineup. There's a lot to goof on with Andy. Oh, yeah. So, come on. What's up, man? Can I play? They won't do any gay jokes, will they? <laughs> no, I hope yeah. not. That would be distasteful. Yeah. See, that would be too easy. I don't know yeah. if they just stay away. I'm sure there are other things he could have yeah. picked on. Yes. Like his glasses. Guy, picture a guy who's been in awful movies who has a drug problem who's also gay. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it writes itself. Do you need more than eight minutes? <laughs> well, uh, but, you know what? what we're good at, I don't think we've actually... Invited anyone into the studio for that one yet? Oh, come on, let me be the first then. 
Let me see if I Wasn't have it. somebody at the meeting talking about uh, some way to give away tickets to the roasts? I, I, I could do a game with them. I could do what is Crackhead Bob saying. Do we have any more of that, Gar? I do. I have four more of those left. All right, give me, give me. If he gets one right, I'll give me one of those. All right, dude. Listen to this. This is Crackhead Bob. He's saying yeah. something. If you could tell me what he's saying, you can come to the roast. How's that? All right. Sounds good. All right. We're in business. We've got a game for this guy. Always like when we have something prepared. This is a very well-produced show, by the way. I don't know if you realize that. Okay, here we go. Now, Gilbert, don't give any help. Yes. <laughs> and if you say it wrong, you can't beg. You're not in. All right. All right, come on. It's got to be a real game. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, donkey. Oh, that sounds easy. I didn't get it. Wait, can you play one more time? I'm dating. Oh, wait. <laughs> right, here we go now. This is going to be rough. Oh, donkey. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. No, it wasn't that. No, I know. Fuck. Uh, it sounded to me like, oh, donkey. I know what it is. Yeah. I was like, oh, monkey. I just don't. Well, 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 I know what it is. Let me play it again for you, okay? All right. Oh, donkey. <laughs> You're gonna. Be... I think I know. <laughs> you think oh, you know? Yes. Uh, one, one, one more time, and that's it. Yeah, my phone's real shitty. Here we go. Well, our equipment's shitty. So what? <laughs> oh, donkey! <laughs> it's a great show reference. Do we know what that is, Gary? So you can give the right answer. We do. Oh, because I don't know. Oh, it's I a know. show reference, and he's actually doing the inflection quite well. All right. Go oh, ahead. Monkey. Say again. Oh, monkey? Oh, monkey. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Ooh, cunty. Oh, oh you motherfucker. Oh, cunty. Did oh, you know man. Yes, yes. That was the... Uh, ew, what's cunty. her name? But, uh, what's Alexis. Her? Alexis. Oh, uh, Stewart. Oh, donkey. <laughs> fuck, fuck that, Howard. I'm begging, man. Come on, please. Honestly, cunty. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm begging you now. You promised you wouldn't beg. You really? uh, I didn't promise. Be a man. Come Be on. a man. Come on. Fuck no. that. I got to go to that studio. I got to see it. Come on. I'll give you one more, and if you beg... I, I, I'm really going to be angry with you. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. If you beg, then you got to get uh, a tea bag by Richard and Sal. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm daring. Uh, thank you, day. Oh, that's easy, too. Really? Yeah. You got that? Mm-hmm. Well, you're good. Did you get that, Gilbert? No. <laughs> that one, I... <laughs> Artie, do you have that one? No, Robin's good there. That's that's impressive. One more time. I'm daring. Uh, thank you, day. Darren, thank you, face. Oh, one more, geez. one more. Time. Dude, you gotta play the inflection. He's not going. You ain't going to no roast. You better not beg. You better get tea bag. <laughs> um, daring. Uh, thank you, day. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. So, uh, you, do you? The guy has to take a guess. Go ahead. Something. Thank you, Dave. No. Sounds to me like I'm daring you to take a day. It's the blue iris thing. I'm wearing a negligee. Oh, oh, that's no. good. Oh, no. Fuck. I'm wearing a Wow. I never would have got that. That's good. Come on, Howard. I'm daring. Uh, take a day. <laughs> my leg is my leg is dead. Yeah. Fuck. What is wrong with you? Howard, <laughs> come on, dude. I've been on the whole. I've been on hold for over a half hour. My phone's dying. <laughs> come um, on, daring. Uh, thank you, day. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's sexy. Come on. Oh, donkey. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of Crackhead Bob now. <laughs> um, daring. Uh, thank you, day. <laughs> sexy. Come on, right. now, please. You, you said you promised you wouldn't beg. <laughs> I'll give you one more chance. One more chance? This right. is it. And if you beg, you're going to have to lick <laughs> Richard and South scrotum. Oh. And right. you still can't see the rest. <laughs> right. <laughs> Here we go. Me think your name. Oh, come on. Oh, oh yeah, that's say too obvious. Name. You got that? Yeah, that's Please easy. Say your name. Please say your name. I got it. Well, I'll say no. it again. No. He's wrong. I got it. You stupid ass. You Even if he got it, let's say it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, here you go. Me think your name. Oh, I know it. Even yeah. I have that yeah. one. Yeah, so that's amazing. too easy. You got it or not? Please say your name. No. No. Oh, what was it? it was the Oprah thing. We speak your name. Right. Your name. Right. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get any easier oh. than that. Come on. <laughs> Me think your <laughs> name. Oh, that point's shitty. Fuck. Oh, come on. I'm, I only got one more, man. If you don't get this, you're not coming to the road. See, if you had a right, clear on phone, that would be much clearer. <laughs> yeah. This is it for you. It's his phone system. And don't beg. All right. Thank you. Fucking <laughs> thing. That's easy. Yeah, that's too easy. One more time. All right, this is it. If you don't get this, really, you don't deserve to come. You fucking thing. <laughs> oh, if you don't get this, you're an idiot. You fucking geek. Oh. What'd you say? You fucking geek. Wrong. Uh, wrong. It's dick, isn't it? Yeah, I think. Oh, hey, come on. I got a half for it. What the fuck? <laughs> play the, play the. Oh, he's right. He he's is? right. You oh. fucking geek. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not you. Fucking geek. You were thinking of you dick. Uh, right. Uh, All right, you're coming to the roast. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Uh, oh, man, you're you the man, Howard. dick. Hey, Howard, if you want to just finish the bit, there's only one left. No, no, no. Oh, you're coming. Hold on. Guys, okay, shut up. <laughs> Hope he's not that annoying during the roast. Throw him out of here. Sad thoughts. Wait what? a minute. Play that again. Sad thoughts. Ah. What? Should have given him that one. Yeah, that's a tough one. Ready? Yeah. Anybody have it? No. no. Come I thought it was some kind of fart. Dice again. Come fart. Mm. That's that, No, it's not. Come <laughs> fart. <laughs> Even if it is an <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. There's the uh, crackhead Bob game. And a uh, uh, lucky winner over there getting to come to the roast of Andy Dick. Gilbert Gottfried is with us tomorrow night. Big night for him. 8 o'clock at Caroline's in Manhattan. He promises to unveil something new. <laughs> you don't? No. Okay, okay, I got it wrong. It's the same old act. No, yes. Gilbert's always funny, man. He's got some funny stuff. Do you do anything topical that, that uh, has to do with uh, yeah, what's I'm... going on in the war in Iraq or anything like that? Yeah, I'm talking about Nixon still. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert's the funniest. Go see him at Caroline's. Go to carolines.com if you want tickets. And to purchase Gilbert Gottfried's Dirty Jokes, go to gilbertgottfried.com. Robin, uh, it's time for Steve Langford, John Hine, and Steve the intern, who all have updates. And then we'll get right to your news. Uh, here he is, Steve Langford. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. SaveBabyGorilla.com, the charity drive to adopt a baby gorilla in honor of Artie Lang has wrapped up. And the website's raised $107.65 in Artie's name. Don't laugh. <laughs> With those generous donations, SaveBabyGorilla.com will be adopting two baby gorillas from the really? Diane Fossey Gorilla International Fund. And here's what the adoption package being sent to Artie will include. They're cheap. A personalized photo and adoption certificate of the baby gorilla mounted in an attractive frame. An adoption profile with detailed information written by expert field scientists. A year's subscription to the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund International Newsletter. And a colorful window cling that can be displayed to show support of gorillas. Thank you to SaveBabyGorilla.com, its generous fans, and Artie Lang. All right. Very nice. Also today, Cabby firing back after getting ripped about his new website that looks awfully similar to Howard TV's. Cabby doing two interviews with Howard 100 News yesterday. The first one, an aborted fiasco of a scream fest with Shuley that ended quickly. The second interview, conducted by this reporter, who Cabby isn't crazy about either, but spoke too long enough to claim he had no intention of copying anyone's website. The company that created CabbyTV.com, big-time innovators, Cabby says. All right. And today, a great day in Howard history. 21 years ago today, one block from where we're standing right now, the WNBC funeral ceremony conducted by Howard and the gang as they buried the old station in the ratings, eventually leading to the surrender and sale of WNBC Radio and the entire NBC Radio Network. That's right. At that funeral outside Rockefeller Center on May 2nd, 1986, Howard and the crowd chanting, among other things, it's time to fire Imus. <laughs> and that has happened. <laughs> When you see stern news happening, we, we want to know about it. That's right, we were. Call us on the Howard 100 News tip line, 877 Sirius 2 Channel 100, or email us your news tip at Howard 100 News. Thank you, Steve, and thank you for reminding us of those great moments in history. Let's get right over to John Hine, who hosts the wrap-up show every day at 11 o'clock, or as close as we can get to it, Johnny. 
Howard raved to Tobey Maguire about Spider-Man 3 and asked about the pussy posse, doing weed, and how rich his fiance is. And I got no answers. <laughs> well, we'll talk about Toby was the model A-list guest, what Jason and Steve, the intern, were willing to do to meet him, and take calls on who would win that Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man battle. Right. Plus, Bubba sent a note to Howard recommending his boot camp for everyone, but Fred turned it around wondering where the thank yous were for Bubba's wedding gifts. Right. We'll go over today's etiquette discussion, Beth's explanation of what happened at Gary's party, and who should be the ones attending Manor's boot camp, and who besides Bubba should be running it. All right, Johnny boy, and it, 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 could there possibly be more? One last thing. Yes. Today's other A-list guest is Gilbert Gottfried. Right. And Howard got an exclusive on Gilbert's wedding and honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> he really opened up. <laughs> we'll cover we'll cover Gilbert singing at his Jewish wedding, our favorite Gilbert moments, and take calls on whether or not Gilbert will be a good dad, and will he write and perform for his child? Uh, he will absolutely not write and perform for his child, and he will not be a good dad. <laughs> All right, that's everybody knows it. I say he's going to be transformed, and we will see the mainstream Gilbert, who is a big star with kids. He'll even be doing the Kids' Choice Awards. You think he'll be like Bill Cosby? <laughs> Parenthood with Gilbert Godfrey. Yes, let's go to Steve the Intern then. Thank you, John. John Hine on the wrap-up show. Steve the Intern tonight at 7 o'clock. We have our own A-list guest tonight. J.D. Harmeyer will be sitting in on oh, the intern wow. show. Wow. He'll be talking about uh, his days as an intern and also with this group, how he may have directly contributed to an intern breakup. He, uh, you have to find out all the details on the intern a show. A romantic tonight. breakup? Uh, it was not romantic. I think it's, it was kind of... Uh, Kind of sleazy, but we'll have the details for All you. All right, that's a teaser they call it. Absolutely. That. So right, tune Steve. in tonight, 7 p.m. Did you kiss Toby Maguire's ass out in the hall? A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Peter, you mean? Yes, Peter Parker. Right. Did you call him Peter? No, I didn't want. Like I said, I didn't want to insult him, but I mean Peter Parker. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you, Steve, the intern. Thank you. There's Steve, the intern, and he has his intern show tonight at 7 o'clock on Howard 101. Don't miss it, Robin. It's time for your theme music. I get horny when I'm snorting lines. This song is great. <laughs> Robin's got a big black ass. I want to ride. <laughs> oh, without Mr. X, I can talk her into some anal sex. <laughs> After a couple drinks, I'll bend her over the sink. I'm going to come in you. <laughs> I'm going to come in you. Wow. And if your pussy's tight, I'm going to paint you white. I'm going to come in you. Well, a lot of guys have a lot of fantasies about you. It's true, Robin. Have you given any thought to dating Al Rosenberg? Did you know that Robin broke up with uh, Mr. X? Or... I heard this. Yeah. Where did you hear the news? And where were you when you heard it? <laughs> yeah, do you remember? Exactly what you I was doing. at Kennedy's funeral. <laughs> yes. It's amazing, huh? Nine years with one guy. Yeah. What do you think went wrong? Have you've met Mr. X? I Absolutely. Yes. Very nice gentleman. Yeah. I mean, I thought he was the one. Was was he? He was a colored gentleman, wasn't he? He was a black man. <laughs> yes. yes. Very black. We use the term black or African American. Yes. <laughs> this is Mr. X, and I just want to see. Good riddance to you, <laughs> bitch. Because you left me, girl. Oh, mama, you stupid ass bitch left me. Oh, mama, I hope your boat sinks, girl. Yeah, that's right. Oh, mama, that's an angry Mr. X. <laughs> wow. I, I, I played Mr. X. Yes, on my radio show, yes. yes. Show, yes. I just fabulous. cut you out yes. of the next episode. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, no more you. I guess it's kind of dated now. It is. Yes. It is. Yeah. Well, uh, Hold on to those copies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you can always play a parrot. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> well, now there'll be collector's items. Robin, what is in the news? And uh, you have Gilbert here to help you with it. Yes, I do. Well, first... It's like beautiful tips. Thank you. <laughs> Drew Barrymore is on the cover of People Magazine's Most Beautiful Issue. And I've been looking at her lately. I think she had a nose job. 
I think she had some work done. I think you're right. I think she prides herself on not putting on makeup for these shoots, and I think she should put on makeup. What do you think of that? I don't think she looks that good. Well, I think, you know, she's gone for a very glamorous image lately, and I was looking at some old pictures of her and some new ones. There's definitely something different about her face. Dice Gottfried, what would you do to Drew Barrymore if you were alone with her? Oh! <laughs> I do some liposuction on her. Oh! All right, there you go. <laughs> I was looking at the newspaper today, and they say that uh, Georgia Fox, who's one of the cast members of CSI, she was supposed to die yes. in this season's uh, episodes, but she's refusing to come to the set to film the scene, oh, they say. That's cool. Yeah, she's unhappy with the uh, idea that they've decided to kill her off, so uh, I guess she's just not going to do the scenes. Wow. Is she allowed to do that? I don't know. I mm. think you have to live up to your contract, don't you? They get to write whatever they want to. It is their show. So Now uh, they're just going to have to film a car going off a cliff. <laughs> That's yeah. right. You'll yeah. never see her in it. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe she died. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't see her. Is she really dead? Uh, American Idol last night, they say it was some of the best and worst performances. It was Bon Jovi night. Honestly, and I know this sounds wrong, but she's too fat to be at American Idol. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's just big, big and fat, and she looks like she's 50. You know what I mean? She should be the singer behind the pretty girl who's right. on the album cover. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that what she did? She was a backup singer, right? No, not her. She's not the one? She, you know, we already have Aretha Franklin. What do we need her for? <laughs> Let's face it. She should be one of the crew building the stage. <laughs> the girl can sing. Uh, don't get me wrong. Listen to her. She can sing, Artie. She can sing. She can sing. A lot of crew guys can sing. <laughs> <laughs> what else she got on there? And Jordan Sparks singing uh, Living on a Prayer. Frankly... She should have just done it, like, acoustically, you know what I mean? It would have been kind of cool. Yeah, slow it down and yeah. do an acoustic thing. Why don't these kids know how to do shit like that? Like, like you know, make bon, it... You know, John has an incredible voice. He does. He's a very good singer. And it takes him to sing these songs. Mm-hmm. They should do it like gay papa. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That guy did a good job with gay papa. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the president and Mrs. Bush showed up on American Idol... He Somehow looks really bad. Too. I think it's, the White House is finally getting to George Bush. I mean, he looks cross-eyed and well, gray. And, I know, but he just he looks it, completely yeah, it, bleary. It eats you up, that job. It's it like really when Clinton does. went in the office, at, you know, the first time around, he looked great. By the time he got out, he aged like 20 years. Yeah, but Bush seemed not to even know what was going on, and he seemed to be just weathering the storm. <laughs> you mean he finally first... got a brain and figured yeah, it out? Yeah, I think he really beat well, the crap out of him. Well, the war in Iraq forced him to start showing up to work. Yeah. You know, his first term was relatively easy. He he spent most of his time between Camp David and that Texas ranch. He made the mistake of getting involved. <laughs> and well, what happened is he hired a bunch of numbskulls who all advised him to go take out Iraq, and now he actually has to pay attention yeah. to like what's going on in the world and shit. You nitwit. And it's killing him. <laughs> it's killing him, the guy. But, you know, they did a whole movie about the president being on American Idol, so now the president shows up on American Idol. We're not on We're morons. Sing something? I don't know, darling. They've already seen you dance. Thanks, and God bless. Wait, here, I'll play it again, because it kind of got garbled. Say, Laura, you think I ought to sing something? I don't know, darling. They've already seen you dance. Thanks, and God bless. They came off like the two whitest white people on the planet. I was going to say, planet. yeah, two wooden Indians. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, darling. I don't know. They've already seen you dance. Where'd they see him dance? He was doing that stupid Indian, I mean, the African dance oh, last right, week. Remember right, that? Right, That's right. what they're referring to. Hey, wait, baby Gottfried's on the phone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, baby Gottfried. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is it? Are you calling from the womb? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sing something? Yeah. Mm. Hey, did you hear Daddy's newest impersonation? No. Right, what is, what it? is it? Phil Silvers. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Silvers. <laughs> <laughs> That's his newest impersonation. <laughs> Daddy says mommy's going to have me at home so they don't have to pay for a hospital bill. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, are you happy I'm coming? Are you happy your baby's coming? <laughs> Answer the baby. Yes, yes he says. <laughs> Am I going to be your little schnauzer? 
All right. You're going nowhere with your sour shoes. I'm sorry. All right. There he is, sour shoes, Gottfried. <laughs> He's got some sort of talent, that guy. He but, can do a baby this, very well. Yeah. He has no lines, but he can do a baby. <laughs> Somebody needs a right for it. All right. Uh, the uh, Idol Gives Back raised $70 million to help children living in poverty in the U.S. and Africa. How generous of uh, American Idol to get the fans to donate $70, 70 million to take credit. Yeah, they're not giving a, hardly yeah. a dime, but yeah. everybody else forked over That's a right. lot of money. Uh, some kids in New Jersey trying to watch uh, one of their favorite shows, the Handy Manny Show, a cartoon show mm -hmm. on the Disney Playhouse, got a surprise when Comcast um, workers switched some cables, and instead of Handy Mandy uh, or Manny, it was probably Handy Mandy because <laughs> a porn came up. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> So they say this only happened in a local area or some region in New Jersey where this particular Comcast cable dude switched the cables. But, uh, yeah, this uh, guy says, my wife was like, oh, my God. She was shocked when she saw what came on the TV when she switched over to the kids' TV program. See, that doesn't sound like an accident. <laughs> no, that's yeah. very premeditated. Eli, yeah. you're on the It happens air. all the time, oh. yeah. <laughs> Hello, yes, Eli. Hello. Yes, hello, hello. Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, um, Artie, I was wondering if you can do me a favor. Honestly, my dog is is, is dying. So, you know, I'm really broken up over it. <laughs> it's terrible. <clears throat> but maybe what would make me feel better is, Artie, could you do the bit from uh, Godfather 2 where Frankie Five Angels says goodbye to Tom Hayden? You have a specific scene you want to hear. <laughs> yeah, he knows it. It's a classic. Yeah, he's done it before. Yeah. Uh, this is the scene I believe he's talking about, Artie, where... Uh, yeah, well, well where actually... Where he's dying uh, with the FBI guys. He's, yeah, he yeah. says... Um, Tom Hagen explains to him that, uh, you know, what he in needs so to many do. words, yeah, what he needs to do. Uh, okay. Thanks. It's for the dog. It's for a dog? Yeah, well, it's, for, it's for me and the dog. Well, that know. pisses me off, but. Come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, not that. Uh, Tom, in the old days. We had the capos, and they called them regimes. The Corleone family was a great family. Yeah, it was once. They'd go home. They'd lay in the hot tub. They'd open up their veins. And that was that. Don't worry about a thing, Frankie Five Angels. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thanks a lot. Right. Bye, Tom. <laughs> Very moving. I, had a oh, I hope that cheers you up. I had a paraphrase for the dog. Thank you. But Thank you. Doesn't he also say something like, but their families were always taken care of. Their right, families. yeah, that's yes. what he's saying yes <laughs> yeah. to. You won't have to worry about a thing. Yes. <laughs> the families were always taken care of. Don't worry about a thing, Frankie Five Angels. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, that, well, well, the first one, I had it right, except for the fact that, yeah, he does say something about his family. Getting Gilbert says you blew it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You blew it. No, well, you know, Gilbert's, Gilbert's great at this shit, too. Right, so, so he'll know. <laughs> no, no, I know. He'll catch you Can you do Godfather crap. stuff? Are you that good at this, uh, Godfather? Oh. No, he probably knows I, the Godfather. I, really I believe well. in America. <laughs> America's where I made where I made my fortune. <laughs> I raised my daughter in the American fashion. <laughs> I gave her freedom, but I taught her never to dishonor her family. <laughs> she found a boyfriend, not an Italian. <laughs> she went out with her. They made her drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> then they tried to take advantage of her. But she resisted. She kept her honor. <laughs> so they beat her like an animal. The next day in the hospital, she could hardly speak because of the pain. Oh, she could hardly weep because of the pain. But I wept. <laughs> Boy, this is good. Uh, uh, an obscure Hold it. I, I got, wait, wait. The Godfather's I'll name is Bra Bra well, No, no, no. Gilbert's got it. Why, why did you come to me? Why did, why did you go to the... Oh, oh, no. Why did yeah, you go yes. to the police first? Yes. Oh, oh, first he goes, 
uh, that they call the police, and he goes, they got uh, five years suspended sentence, suspended a sentence. They went free that very day. <laughs> Why don't you come to the police? Why don't you come to me first? I, if you had come to no. Sarah, because I, yeah, right. I, I didn't want to. Give him a chance. Yes. yes. Well, he fucking ruined mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? When you first came here, you didn't need me. If you had come to now, you come to me, Godfather. I want murder for money. And, oh, uh, uh, let's see what's here. Uh-oh, are you going to step in? Should I step in like you yes, stepped yes. in with me? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Step, wait, wait, wait. Wait. step in. It's if you had come to me first, <laughs> nice for my respect, then you wouldn't be here for the reason you are now. These boys who hurt your daughter would be suffering this very day. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But you don't offer respect. <laughs> you don't even think to call me Godfather. You come here on the day my daughter's to be what, married, and you say, Godfather, I want murder for money. I want to justice. Ah, but that isn't justice. Your daughter is still alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't he say okay. something like, he says something like, um... He goes, uh, you never invited uh, right, me and my wife. Right, you never had my wife. You never invited my, me and my wife over to your house for coffee, even though my wife is godmother to your only child. But you didn't need a friend like me. You came here, and there were courts of law. I didn't want to get into trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Well, he, Gilbert's doing the guy yeah. a little bit like yes. Bella Lugosi. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all right. But he did, he that, did it good. That's the very first monologue from the first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he did it from the very beginning. Wow. A and then, of course. Uh... <laughs> I've known each other many years, but this is the first time you ever came to me for counsel. Yeah. I can't remember the last time that you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. Even though my wife is godmother to your only child. But let's be frank, you, you never wanted my friendship. And uh, you were afraid to be in my debt. I didn't want to get into trouble. I understand. You found paradise in America. You had a good trade, made a good living. Police protected you and there were courts of law. He didn't need a friend like me. But uh, now you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, and give me justice. But you don't ask for respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Be my friend. You said you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married and you ask me to do murder. Money. We ask you for justice. That is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. Maybe you suffer then. As she suffers. How much shall I pay you? Bonus. 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 What have I ever done to make, make you treat me so disrespectfully? If you'd come to me in French, then the scum that ruined your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemy. That's the line, I don't know. And then they would fear you. Be my friend? <laughs> Godfather. Godfather? Good. Good. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But uh, until that day, accept this justice as a gift on my daughter's wedding day. Yes. Yes, madam. Yes. It's the greatest. <laughs> oh, you have to hang on every one of his words. Yeah. Got better make sure he's there for the favor. <laughs> I'm unreliable people, people that aren't going to be carried away. I mean, we're not murderers. 
in spite of what this undertaker said. <laughs> I love that part. I used to remember yes. that whole speech. Me too. Right? You were pretty good there. You pulled yeah. it off. And 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 then there's of course, uh, how's your son? <laughs> He's good, pop. He's three years old. He already reads the funny papers. <sighs> Where's the funny paper? <laughs> Look, I want you to check everyone coming in, and everyone coming out. Could be any. What's bothering you, pop? I told you I could handle it. I'll handle it. <laughs> I never wanted this kind of life for you, Michael. I was hoping it would be your turn that you would be the one to pull the strings. Senator Corleone. <laughs> Governor Corleone. We'll get there, Pop. We'll get there. <laughs> there wasn't enough time, Michael. Oh, yes. There wasn't enough time. <laughs> Is uh, Michael played by Peter Lorre? Yes. <laughs> That's a pretty good Pacino. Yes. <laughs> but Roger. <laughs> well, remember, whoever comes to you to set this meeting, he's the traitor. He does everything. All right, let's let's uh, let's get back to Ron. I know, I forgot more of that movie than that. Uh, it's a long movie. But it's a classic. There's a great Excellent. special. There's a great special on Brando on Turner Classic Movies. It started last night, but really? it was an early career. Now they're going to get into the Godfather years tonight. Oh I think it's man, over... I wish I'd seen that. I just saw a Marlon Brando movie I'd never seen before. It was great. Yeah. When he was young and had a body. <laughs> Gilbert's the only guy I know, and even I mean, this is why I love Gilbert so much. Gilbert can do no wrong in my eyes because he knows all those Bela Lugosi movies yeah. that I grew up with. That and Ab that and Abbott and Costello movies. Yeah, that's really good. That's really something. This, I don't think there's another person in the world who does that. <laughs> what Gilbert does. It's a lot of... I, some people ask me how I got to know movies so much, and it had to be watching them on television. Right. Sure. I mean, you know, because I didn't go to the... I never saw The Godfather in the <laughs> movies or anything. Gilbert, you watched all those movies on TV as a kid? You just... Well, I mean, the, the Godfather I saw in the theater. No, but I mean, like, no, the, 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 old, no, the old horror films. Yeah. yeah. You, you watch them every day yeah, on that's, TV. That's when regular TV stations would have those movies. And they were great. And they'd be in it, the middle of the afternoon, right? You know, the early show, the late show, the middle oh, of the yeah. day show. And, and I think I told you this story once before. There was one time I was staying up late because sometimes they would have the really classic old ones at like one in the morning or right. something. And so I snuck, I was like a kid and I turned on the TV and I'm sitting right by it, like an inch away from the screen. <laughs> I think they were having like Claude Rains since the Phantom <laughs> of the Opera. And I, there was a news report that took place in, in like SeaWorld. And... This girl was riding a killer whale, and the whale went crazy and took her under the water, and then these guys run, there's all this screaming, and when they pull her out of the water, her bikini bottom was around her knees, and you could see her ass. Really? Right. Yeah, and that's that's back when you didn't see... You, you right. didn't see many skirts back then. <laughs> and, and I the remember whale, the whale removed her bottoms. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I'm no homo. <laughs> and, and I immediately like ran to my bed uh, and I had to miss. <laughs> How old were you? How old were you? I don't know. I was like twenty. <laughs> yeah. I was thirty-five. <laughs> and and I. Well, I mean, I, I, I barely touched myself. That's how I know. badly. Jerking off like that, like that's like like kids today see porno when they're like twelve. Oh, yes. so they know what to do. That's why there's so many young girls giving blowjobs and stuff. Yeah. They see all this stuff. You yeah, know. rainbow party. You know, I used to jerk off to like magazine ads with just like you know. Oh, underwear, underwear ads. Underwear yeah, underwear like the ads. Times. You know, yeah. yeah, like the New York Times would I have didn't underwear know anything ads. About that sex. was something. Did you used to watch Zachary's Chiller Theater? Oh, yeah. yeah do you do Zachary? <laughs> oh, Zachary. Oh, Grandma. Oh. Zach. I wish I'd seen this Zachary. Oh, Zachary was I never the best. saw it either. He's 88 years old now. Yeah. Grandma's over there in the crib. <laughs> John Zachary. Oh, look at this. Over oh, here. Yeah. Look at all my friends. Oh, Sounds like Zachary must have been on drugs. <laughs> oh, I don't know what he was on. I'm sure he was. Who knows what he was up to? But those happen in Costello movies every Sunday on Channel 11. They'd be on from 11 right, a.m. And, and they'd morning, have the yeah. Bowery Boys. Yeah, right in the afternoon. Yeah. They were yeah. great. Yeah. I love the Bowery Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you 
boys doing in my moat shop? <laughs> <laughs> They're like 40 years old, those Bowery boys. That's what I loved about that, that they were the Bowery boys, like a group, of, a gang of kids, and they were like in their 50s. They were fat, and they were wrinkled. Oh, I loved it. In Angels, in Angels with Dirty Faces, they they all mugged James Cagney yeah. as kids, but they're all taller than Cagney. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's good. All right, anything else, Robin? Yeah, now findings on marijuana damaging, uh, the, uh, the, or new findings on marijuana's damaging effects on the brain show that the drug triggers temporary psychotic symptoms in some people, including hallucinations and paranoid delusions. I'm one of them. Yeah. Oh. British doctors took brain scans of 15 healthy volunteers given small doses of two of the active ingredients of cannabis and a placebo. One compound made people more relaxed, but even small doses of another compound produced temporary psychotic symptoms in people, including the hallucinations and the paranoid delusions. So now they're saying pot may cause insanity. I believe that, man, especially pot today. I'm telling you, you don't smoke weed at all. No. Do you? I haven't done it in years, but it, I had to stop. It was so intense. I felt like I was like out of my mind. I mean, it, it's supposed I to had be... a very bad. The worst reaction I've ever had, to, and I, you know, I've, obviously I've done hard drugs. The worst reaction to any Marijuana. drug I've ever had is, is weed. Me too. Absolutely. Me too. Bad, worse than your LSD thing? Uh, well, the LSD I took, I overdosed. When I took right. the right amount, it wasn't so horrible, but I, t but I overdosed. Right. Uh, Jennifer, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, baby. Hey. Um, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I wanted to ask Robin a couple of questions. I wanted to ask her, um, like, has she had her, you know, that fling when you break up with somebody? You got to you gotta get some, you know, to get over them? No, <laughs> no, I don't have that. Ooh, well, you need to. <laughs> oh, she's annoying. <laughs> he keeps himself alive by taking the blood. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Abbott and Costello meets Dracula. Well, exactly. Yeah. It's a, no, it's a, it's a, Grandma, stop it. Stop it, Grandma. No, 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 no. Don't, don't eat my leg, Grandma. Okay, we're going leg. right back to Abbott and Costello meets Dracula. Keeps himself alive by drinking the blood. This is getting to be ridiculous. <laughs> what? What? Are you trying to tell me that can will move? <laughs> Look, wait a minute. Candles can't move. <laughs> it yeah, 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 watch it. Keep your eye on it. Is it moving? Huh? It's not moving, is it? No. Oh, use your brains a little bit. Let's get this job finished. <laughs> Abbott's name is always Slick or Chick. Yeah. <laughs> Why did they have to have the same name? I love in every it. Movie? I, I always thought Abbott was the funnier one. Oh, oh Abbott's hilarious. Man. <laughs> the good. timing on him, like a young Abbott, man, oof. No one was better than him. Uh, Richard and uh, Sal, I think. Who, was it Richard who interviewed Zachary? Recently? Richard did. Yeah, yeah Richard. Richard. Richard and uh, I think J.D. <laughs> All right, this is Richard, and we're here with the legendary Zachary. Yes, that's true. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Very legendary. <laughs> how you been? Yes, how you been? Hey, Zachary. He still has that voice. Yes, yes, yes. He's like Robin Williams. <laughs> oh, now, you, you did a lot of work in radio also. You've worked with Howard Stern. Yes, when I was on WNEW-FM in the early days of... Um, Very senile. I never worked with You Zachary. know what? He does sound like... <laughs> Sounds like Robin Williams when he's yes. about to go into yes. that. <laughs> oh. the days when I was doing my show till the dinner. Yes. Oh, yeah, who's that radio. Chinese man there? Oh. You know, let's get phone calls from uh, the Chinaman. I <laughs> oh, forget it. All right, uh, Robin, uh, please. And the guy guys in the corner going, "Hey, how's your skirt doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I forgot to mention this. Chuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tommy Newsom. Anybody remember that? I do. Name? Oh, yes. yeah. Mr. Excitement. He, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Newsom, Newsom was died. on the Merv Griffin show. No. No, no, the Tonight Show. He yeah. was the, re- yeah, he was the substitute band leader. When Doc couldn't make it, they'd always bring in Tommy Newsom. Yeah, someone else died, too. Oh, um, Tom, Tom Poston. I always liked him. Oh, did he? He, he died? He yeah. Oh. oh. He was 85 in his 80s. years old. Do you know, he was on the Bob Newhart show, of course, and do you know that in real life he married Suzanne Plachet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. married the doctor's wife. What yeah. a piece of ass for him. Don't you think yeah. that Way Suzanne Plachet is sexy as hell? Oh, when she was 100 by the time <laughs> yes. he married her. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, that's sucks. They've only been married for like five years. She got him when he was 80. Yeah. Oh, really? That's the best time to get married. <laughs> Tom Poston died. Yeah, they had a very shirt. happy marriage. I Here's like a few uh, Tom Poston remembrances. Um, I like Tom Tom Poston. says, no one lives forever, number six. Yeah, no one lives forever. You sure Tom's saying that? Yes, it's Tom Poston. He said it just uh, yeah. today. Tom proving it. <laughs> He's dead. How did he say that? <laughs> when none of us live forever. That's there nice. you go. <laughs> Here's a clip from Newhart. All right. It is a dream. So? <laughs> in, in a dream, you can do anything you like. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> These clips don't work on no, the radio. No, no, you'd have to see it, I guess. And here's a clip from the Steve Allen Show. How did this group, this group here, how did you get together? Where are the father and their sons? Uh, you see, Tom Poston started out on the Steve Allen yeah. show. He's doing sketches and stuff. Like man on the street stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, right. It's so funny, though. Whenever they interview any celebrity, they always ask, if you died tomorrow, <laughs> what would you want? And so that way they have it for everybody. <laughs> they have it, yeah. <laughs> they have your last words. Suppose you and Tommy Newsom died tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's say it was a car crash. <laughs> then what would you say? Tommy yeah. Newsom sat in for Doc Severinsen. And That's what I said. He was the. All right. What was the name of the band leader on the Merv Griffin show? The band leader. Oh, Jack. That's right. Oh God, what is his name? Because every once in a while I'll see him. Mayhoffer. No. no. Jack <laughs> Carter. No. 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 That's, That's the comedian. comedian. Jack. Jack Mayhoffer. Yes. No. <laughs> Jack. God, what was his name? I could see his face. Jack. What, Fred? Crucian. I believe it. No. Jack Crucian. No. Maybe you're right. I don't remember. Well, no. I've never heard of Jack. No, no, no. That's another Jack actor. Neal. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, what was his name, Jack? <laughs> I can see that guy. He's got like a little spiky... Right, like, a and a red vibe. nose. Chubby face. No, Jack Crucian was a character actor. I don't right. Know no, I forget about. what is Jack something. I can feel Jack Mayhoffer. I can, I can feel Benji, Jack Mayhoffer. Benji googling as we're talking. Uh, but you know, yeah, whenever Tommy Newsom took over for Doc, uh, Johnny dusted off the bad suit jokes. Right. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> he had a set routine uh, for the, Tommy. Uh, uh, sitting in for Doc tonight is uh, Tommy Newsom. <laughs> the dull guy. Uh, Tommy's so dull. <laughs> Let's see. Ed McMahon comments on Doc Severinsen. Oh, okay. This is good to play. This is uh, a remembrance from Ed McMahon. And I think we should all hear this. Don't you, Robin? Certainly. All right. Certainly. Here he is. During the summer, I could earn as much as $500 a week from Doc Severinsen by giving him little boy poop. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Doc had a business on the side, I guess. Now, does, does anyone besides me n- remember who played uh, Frankenstein and Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein? Oh. You're saying it wasn't, um, it wasn't the Long great chain. Boris Karloff? No. It was... Uh, Wow. Oh, I think I know this. I, this is a weird thing. The hell was it? Who I know, was it? He played it as many times as Karloff. I know really? The, the yeah. Invisible Man was that weird yes. character actor. Wasn't was it, it? Wasn't it Lon, Lon Chaney? Chaney Jr.? No, no. Well, but Wolf you know Man. something? Uh, as a matter of fact, you could. That could be correct. Even though the in the movie, it was Glenn Strange. <laughs> he had played it in House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Abbott and Costello. But the scene where the monster, this is pathetic, (laughs) how I know this, the scene where the monster throws the girl out the window, uh, that's actually Lon Chaney Jr. Yeah, I thought so. Yes, because... specifically for that? Well, yeah, because Glenn Strange, uh, he was already in the movie as the Wolfman, but Glenn Strange uh, broke his ankle at one point, so Lon Chaney Jr. dressed up as the monster and filmed that scene. 
Who told you that, Officer Joe Bolton? Yeah. <laughs> Carson was terrific with kids. I'm telling you, if there was a little boy around, he would find it in the shit pipe. <laughs> in the shit pipe, by the way. Mort Lindsay was Merv Griffin's Yeah, but family. who was the guy right, with the trumpet? Yeah, there that I, I'm still trying guy. to track that down. The Jack dude. Google trumpet Mort Merv. Those band guys and, always and he looked also like they did, were having so much fun. And he also used to do, like, stuff for Schoolhouse Rock. Right. That's why oh, oh, yes, that guy. That's the one. You know what? Those band guys used to look like they were cool and having fun. And, like, today, like, Letterman and Leno, they don't know how to, like, yeah. sort of incorporate that coolness factor into the band. No, they, yeah, those I think bands they all used, used to cool. drink back then. Yeah. 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 You want one more stupid fact on this uh, Frankenstein Abbott and Costello thing? Okay. I'm looking on uh, the web. It says Lou Costello did not want to film the movie, declaring, "No way, I'll do that crap. My little girl could write something better than this." Mm. Of course, a fifty thousand dollar advance changed that. Yeah. Thanks for interrupting with that. Is it Jack <laughs> Sheldon? <laughs> Jack oh, Sheldon. yeah, Jack that's Sheldon. Sheldon. Yes. Jack Sheldon? Yes, that's the guy's name. Even that he used to do all those like educational right. shorts for kids. Right. Yeah. right. When Johnny and I started doing The Tonight Show, we did anything we could think of to fill Doc Severinsen's tight little ass. <laughs> Holy <laughs> John Simone. <Nasty>. Man. <laughs> well, he remembers everything. He's revealing a lot. Yeah. yeah. With her feet behind her head, Raquel Welsh shit <laughs> on my penis, then tried to pee in Doc Severinsen's face. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> After spraying my face with gum, Dom DeLuise put his hand down Johnny's pants and squirted shit straight down Johnny's mouth. That's not right. That's a horrible accusation. <laughs> <laughs> and who would have thought it? Now you're on the Tonight Show. You appear there yes. regularly. Yes. I well. I never worked with Carson. No. Oh, he would never yes. work with you. Yes. I... <laughs> <laughs> I remember one evening when things got completely out of control. Doc Severinsen licked my nuts <laughs> while Johnny but fucked George Burns, who oh. shot his cum all over Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet forehead, <laughs> while Jerry Lewis shit ice cream on Red Skelton's crotch, <laughs> and then Tim <laughs> Valen. <laughs> Fire extinguisher. Up Jack Benny. Shit. Cave. While Andy Williams sniffed coke off Dom DeLuise. Penis. That was the tough, tough night. <laughs> what, a, Anything else what a party. No. Oh, well, well. That's old Hollywood. Yeah, well, Tommy Newsom was 78. <laughs> And died this weekend of cancer. Sorry to hear that. Jack Sheldon's the guy who would do conjunction, conjunction. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the guy. He was cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yesterday was May 1st, and the um, immigrants, uh, illegal immigrants, uh, got out on the streets in a number of cities and rallied. Uh, are you an illegal immigrant? <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name? Sai. And uh, your name's Sai? Si. <laughs> and... and <laughs> <laughs> What's right, your okay. sister's name? So, Let her, her name Sue. <laughs> so there's a new a new chant we have to figure out. It's uh, two ten. Right. This is what they were chanting. At the immigration rally. Yes. Okay. El pueblo unido jamás se ha vencido. El pueblo unido. What do they want? Well, I'm asking you. You're the one who speaks Spanish here. See, it would help if they spoke English. That would get the message. <laughs> Are you protesting? What's the, what's the rally all about? <laughs> They're trying to change the laws and get 12 to 20 million people, depending on who you listen to, legalized in this country, get them permanent Now, if you take this to rights. court, what would you do? Sue. <laughs> You'd sue. <See? laughs> so if you can't understand it that way, here's 2-8. They were chanting it everywhere. In English? No, it's again in Spanish. All right. Oh, I know what that means. What is it? Gilbert's a cheap Jew. <laughs> See? 
<laughs> well, if we it's only... Gilbert a cheap Jew. <laughs> <laughs> if we only knew what they wanted, maybe we could give it to them. They want a remake of Chico and the Man. <laughs> <laughs> I drove past what was New York's. They rally. wanted to re-release the Bill Dana albums. <laughs> <laughs> I drove past what was New York's rally yesterday, and I only saw like a handful of people. I said, "Well, if that's all there is, legalize them. <laughs> no problem." Yeah. But anyway, they say 150,000 people attended the rally in Chicago yesterday. Here's Mayor Richard Daly talking to the crowd. Two nine. We welcome immigrants to our great city. As we look at this skyline, this skyline, when we look at the skyline, it was built by immigrants. <laughs> Well, it's so weird that it's like Mayor Daly again. Like you live long enough and you see, you know, President Bush again, it, Mayor Daly again. It, it Did you like... build the skyline? <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, one of the rally organizers from Detroit, Ignacio Min, uh, Mineses, who says that he hopes to gain the respect from President Bush. To the community is making this sacrifice to come and not to work. Uh, because what we want to is at least the Bush administration see... And, and respect the labor of the, of the, of the immigrant community. What do you say, C or Z? <laughs> All right, look, I mean, uh, everybody wants to be here. That's, that's the truth. The immigrant community. And Marta of uh, Longmont, who is in uh, Colorado, says immigration reform benefits everybody. Too. We've got a lot of people waiting, you know, still from big time. From Maybe she can watch your baby. <laughs> Long that are waiting to get... Are you going to get help? Are you going to get living help? Have you figured are, that out yet? Are you living help? No, are you going to get living yes. help? <laughs> <laughs> no, who cares? Anything and, else? And what's your name, ma'am? <laughs> Your name's Sue? Yeah. <laughs> One night, out of nowhere, a sweet, innocent choir boy gagged on my elderly nuts, and then yellow discharge erupted from my minuscule penis. Wow. <laughs> Later this year, Howard, the NAACP will be holding a symbolic funeral. Yes. This time, that symbolic funeral will be, Gilbert, for the N-word. Oh, oh. nigger. <laughs> <laughs> How big of a coffin is that going to be? As Americans have debated the use of the word in the wake of the Don Imus scandal. Can Gilbert give a eulogy and remember? I remember him fondly. You know what? I believe a burial is a good idea for the N word, but I predict a resurrection. Yeah. Gilbert. Yeah. I remember hanging out with nigger. Yeah. I'll sadly miss nigger wow. as part of my vocabulary. Oh, Boy, goodbye, nigger was always nigger. good for a laugh. Uh, the funeral will be led. Nigger was generous. In the youth and If nigger division. was here today. All right, so where would the funeral be? Right? Come on. Uh, let me see. Uh, they ought to bury Ho next to uh, the end one. It's going to be, I guess, in one. I remember when Nigger met Ho. <laughs> in the Ima show. Yeah. <laughs> They say it's important to give everyone a chance to look at the impact of this word. When they made nigger, they broke the mold. Oh. <laughs> For all cultural depictions, even the niggers in the media, oh, yes. <laughs> they think should be reviewed for negativism. Here's um, the Shelton person. Three two. A nigger himself. No. <laughs> You really do like that word, I yes. believe. I don't oh, think. my well, God. It's just the now it's time funeral. for us to really take a good look at the industries that are creating problems along these lines, or at least exacerbating the problem, whether looking at television images, movie images, a representation in music, and the broader media, both the Internet as well as written media. Now it's time All for right. us. He says that the campaign targets everyone exploiting negative imagery. 3-3. Three, three. We're talking to, again, Africa. You know how many black comedians use the M-word? He's no. talking to African Americans. Listen to him. I know. Him. I'm saying I don't. I think he's barking up the wrong tree. He, I'd, uh, I'd go uh, to a funeral for the term African American. <laughs> right. Cat Williams uses the N-word. Oh, Chris yeah, Rock. I, I, I just hate the fact that now we have to call them coons. That's oh. <laughs> just wrong. That's that funeral was a long time ago. Where is that Cat Williams clip? How is he going to bury it? Listen to this for a second. They're going to bury his career. These really problems.
problematic images, but it's not just African Americans. We also look at the imbuses of the world, the shock jocks that are presenting these really negative images in derogatory terms. Yeah, he doesn't really, he should be mentioning Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert's name should be right up there. Uh, you, you are the Tijuana Strings? <laughs> And I take it you're all from Tijuana, huh? <laughs> Am I right in assuming that you are their leader? <laughs> What's your name? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Tijuana strings, that seems awfully close to the Tijuana brass. I mean, didn't they ever object to it? Sí. <laughs> well, what do they do? Sí. Go ahead and play something. Now, what are you going to play? The flea. I'm afraid to ask this next one. The flea? Yes, sir. There you go. Very good timing. So the N-word is going to be buried when? Uh, they have their uh, convention. Because I want to attend the year. funeral. <laughs> is, it a, yes. is it a closed casket? <laughs> Gilbert's, all, Gilbert's all broken up. <laughs> I'm just saying, ladies, stop tripping on shit that don't even motherfucking matter. Never in the history of niggerdom has a nigga... <laughs> Them, have a nigga been getting ready to have sex with a woman and change his mind because her fingernails and toenails didn't match. Not never. Not never. Never has a nigga been putting a condom on and went, bitch, is that plum and red? I can't even do it, bitch. I'm out of here. I can't even do it. Got to respect him. He's working that yes. N word till the burial. And that was a tape of Dr. Martin Luther King. <laughs> and he was a comic. Yes. <laughs> yes. He was known as Detroit Red back then. Uh, anything else, Robin? Uh, as promised, yesterday President Bush vetoed a Democratic war funding bill that would have set a timetable for the withdrawal of American troops from Iraq. Here's the president. 213. 213 is our president? Yes. All right. There we go. It makes no sense to tell the enemy. When you plan to start withdrawing, all the terrorists would have to do is mark their calendars and gather their strength and begin plotting how to overthrow the government and take control of the country of Iraq. And isn't, makes that, what, no sense. And isn't that what they're doing anyway? <laughs> <laughs> he says that uh, these are tough times, 214. These are times that test the resolve of free people. These are times that require hard work and courage and faith in the ability of liberty. That administration of his had such a hard-on for Iraq from the minute they got in there that this was fate complete. They, would, they were looking for a reason to invade, and they got it. Definitely. And now we're stuck with this legacy. God knows what this is going to bring on us in the future. You know how yesterday when you were arguing that you didn't owe Gary an apology and we played the etiquette expert? Yes. And you had done absolutely everything wrong? Right. Well, it's the same with the president. When he looks back at Iraq, he has to realize he did absolutely everything wrong. Yeah, and he won't say sorry. He will not apologize no, he won't. and change course. Hey, Here's uh, the president saying it would be premature, and a premature exit is going to be problems. That risk turning Iraq into a it cauldron is. of chaos. We have a lot of problems now. Our enemy, the enemies of freedom, love chaos. Out of that chaos, they could find new safe havens. All right. Hey, love chaos. <laughs> Would yes. you believe they have weapons of mass destruction? And you believe the they firecracker? <laughs> Senator Dick Durbin, however, says it's time for Bush I'll to I'll be in Iraq and loving it. <laughs> it's time for Bush to face the facts. Number one. Congress cannot override the president's veto. But the president cannot override the reality of Iraq. 
I was wrong by that. <laughs> I love the challenge of trying to hold down a little boy while Johnny sucked <laughs> his tiny penis. Wow. <laughs> that is, you Just know. amazing. I mean, if that's book. in a book, I'm getting it. Ed McMahon writes the best book. Hey, Robin. Robin. <laughs> Just amazing. Robin, since the N-word is dead, can I hire a psychic to contact it? <laughs> Yes, you I did. am the first nigger. A spirit of the N. You have contacted me. John Edwards, I'm seeing an N. Carson was willing to do just about anything for a blow job and a cute young child. That I believe. Anything you know, else? We've all been talking about global warming. Well, now a University of Oklahoma professor ha has come out in criticism of the Al Gore film An Inconvenient Truth. Dr. David Deming says that uh, the movie markets itself as a scientific documentary, but as a matter of fact, it is an artful and deceptive propaganda film. Deming <clears throat> says that the claims made in the film are either wrong, disingenuous, or misleading. So all of a sudden we have a critic Backlash. Uh, coming forward, a geophysicist saying that, you know, he doesn't know what Al Gore is talking about with an inconvenient truth. And Robert Kennedy Jr. is claiming that Carl Rove did more than just spew harsh words at Sheryl Crow and Larry David during that correspondence dinner. The New Yorker magazine reports Kennedy saw Rove literally spit at Crow and David. <laughs> at the White House. Oh, I, I, I spit on you. <laughs> I, I saw him spit. <laughs> The Republican strategist Rove was, quote, as rude and arrogant as a person can be. You're uh, rude and uh, arrogant. <laughs> he added it was very strange to watch and a sad thing to think the government is run by somebody like that. How very, uh, very sad. <laughs> for my own personal information, have they held a funeral for Kike yet? <laughs> No, uh, Kike is alive and, and well. well. <laughs> I remember one evening when Art Linklater but fucked the beautiful English sheepdog named Patrick. Whoa. <laughs> when Saddam Hussein was in prison just before, you know, they hanged him. They should bring him back. The U.S. Army bought him Cuban cigars, hair dye, and other luxuries. Why? I don't know. I'm just telling you what they did. They probably felt bad for him. A military panel investigating the actions of the former commander of a camp told that uh, Saddam and his aides also had access to new clothes and dry cleaning after one of them appeared in court in his pajamas. So they treated them very well right up to the time they tied a rope around his neck and dropped him. All I know is Saddam is in hell right now with the N-word. <laughs> you think the N-word went to hell? No. Come on. <laughs> hey, are you the word nigger? I've always enjoyed you. <laughs> right now, right now, Hitler, Saddam, and nigger are having lunch. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait until the word kike is done with us. <laughs> what else you got there, Robin? Sanjaya is not going to be fetid by his home city. They don't want to have a parade for him. Well, because he's, he's a goof. And they don't want to give him the key to the city. He's a goof. They don't want to be goofy. More important <laughs> things to deal with, and unless a council member tried to push through a proclamation, that. then uh, that idol wannabe should not expect a similar honor, according to the uh, town manager. So. Break out the coffin, because Gimme and Homo are terminally no. ill. Welcome for Sanjaya when he goes back. Also, Britney Spears took to the stage for the first time in, they say, uh, four years. Thank God. A rundown on Perez Hilton says that... So what? <laughs> as usual, she lip-synced through every song, went on stage at 10, was done by 10.16... The set list included Baby One More Time, I'm a Slave for You, Breathe One... What is that? Breathe One Me or Breathe On Me. Maybe that's it. And Do Something in Toxic. She did a 16-minute set? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> She's coming back. <laughs> and, uh, a DJ opened the show. I wish I could get away with that. <laughs> Spears hit the stage wearing a brunette wig with a black headband. They say she looked dope. <laughs> is that good? Is that so good, Robin? She's a dope. Yes. <laughs> Zsa Zsa Gabor has mammoth cunt lips. And they say she has <laughs> <laughs> interaction with the crowd. And uh, tell me like it is. At the end.
friend of her sex, she I said. I always suspected that. Thank everyone for coming. Mm. My words. <laughs> So that's Britney Spears making her return. You could tell that from the Merv Griffin show. <laughs> and finally today, actor John Ratzenberger yeah. died. No, he no. did not die. Uh, he just got kicked off Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, I'm so not watching that. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, he's the latest to go. And they are now down to uh, actor Billy Ray Cyrus, uh, Ian. Zaring. Zaring. What is it, Ian or Ian? Ian Zaring. And that guy from uh, the Backstreet Boys or In Sync, I can't remember which, the ice skater, and Layla Ali, I think. Yes. Are the only ones very, left. very important. There you go. That's well, what thank you, Robin Gilbert. Hey, it, if you had to describe Layla Ali in one word. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. That word's been put to sleep. Gilbert Godfrey, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock at Caroline's in Manhattan. You little devil. Are you not going to use the N word in your act? The I word hope is Caroline. buried. I won't say nigger. No. Don't say it. No, okay. Come on. Yes. Come on. It's, the it's word enough. has been buried. Right. It should be. Spear <laughs> chucker. Speaking from the grave. <laughs> You're very yeah. racist, yeah. and I don't approve. <laughs> I don't. It's been it's buried it's... with words like musket and turntable. <laughs> go to Caroline's. Dot com and to purchase Gilbert yeah. Gottfried's Dirty Jokes, go to GilbertGottfried.com. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank everyone for appearing on the show today. Toby McGuire, thank you. Spider-Man 3 thank opening you. Friday in theaters everywhere. They should have no problem selling tickets, just like Gilbert at Caroline's. <laughs> and, uh, It'll be the same crowd, yeah. Artie, we saw you on Entourage. You were great. We, we were looking forward to you on Rescue Me. Gilbert, this man's getting a lot of your work. He's getting your job, <laughs> He's Gilbert. getting your jobs. I'm taking uh, the ugly guy getting laid roles on TV. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Gilbert, Which means no one would believe it. Artie, yes. Artie, you have carved out a niche. Yes. <laughs> uh, Artie, how's your parrot voice? I think you're going to be next. Uh, Artie, say Aflac. I can do it. Artie, you're going to be appearing where? Oh, Jackie Gleason Theater this yeah. Friday night, May 4th. And, uh... Miami, artie-lang.com. You gotta get a website. You gotta get a website. You should, it should be your name on the website. And you should put www before your name. And a Is that dot. the advice he gave you? Yeah, www dot. And now in your case, it would be the McGuffrey. In my case, it was Artie Lang, but in your case, You'd use your name, which is still Bugatti. And then there'd be another dot, and then it's Cobb. That's spelled C O M. Thank you. <laughs> well, it sounds like you got some good advice from yeah, I did. I mean, I, you know. That was all news to Artie. And then you could sell stuff on that website. <laughs> anyway, if you go to artie langcom it will have a full eulogy and an RIP, -R rest in peace to the N word. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey, you didn't have to put dash, Gil, Go, Gilbert dash Godfrey. It's GilbertGodfrey.com. No, I, bu wow. I, I, I had to buy my name from some guy in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he got it. Yes. Uh -huh. My track management staff hasn't been able to buy my name from a, a Japanese porno producer. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, everybody.